My role is um, managing health promotions across the district within Aboriginal communities. My team delivers healthy black and deadly programs and um, health promotion. There's been lots of barriers um, for women in regards to their health. When we talk about cervical cancer, um, it's, it's more like a private, um, private discussion with women. You know, we have women's business and men's business in our communities. A lot of our women are very shy. They don't like going to doctors. They don't like being medically examined uh, because of embarrassment. And it's a shame job for them. So they would prefer to, to come together as a, a group of Aboriginal women so that they can share that information together and, and they feel more comfortable with their own people. So it was all around the planning and making sure that we had the appropriate resources for our yarning circles. We did some training around it and how we needed to introduce this to community. We work in supports with other service providers our Aboriginal medical services and looking at them with their women's group, bringing them along to our programs and also inviting the clinicians to come along as well and to be able to give the detailed information that really needs to be explained to Aboriginal women. By the end of that session, People knew the words around cervical cancer. We had other resources too, like some flyers, some pamphlets, uh, some contact details on um, where they could go to have these done. When running a yarning circle in particular, make sure you get the audience that you need to, to focus on, particularly in isolated um, areas and to be able to deliver a message that is clear um, and it's understandable. You've got to make it a bit of fun, enjoyable, you've got, to, you've got to be able to provide some food and just to make it more welcoming and inviting so they feel comfortable about being able to talk and to ask questions.